Hello, I'm Adam and welcome to another video where I will show you uh, new Sony headphones uh, WH-1000XM6. This video will be different than others. I will focus on codecs and uh, how to uh, integrate those with your Windows PC without any problems and how this thing would work uh, great with Microsoft Teams. That's what I will focus on. But first, let's start with standard unboxing. So, yeah. Open. Uh, paper casing. Like, we are so eco. And, okay. Instruction manual. And more paper. <laughs> That's so... What the... <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. And there we've got the casing and wow, beautiful, how to take it off, what we've got there, yeah, yeah so don't forget to register purchase, blah blah blah, a lot of instructions, okay, uh, first impressions. Uh, Strange shape. There are no lines uh, which define the height. And uh, well, those are about. Okay, this button is very nicely placed. Quality uh, is pretty fine. I love that those are. Uh, yeah, you can. Oh, oh no! You have to... Uh, yeah, you have to fold them back and those will lock. That's pretty bad. Okay, whatever. Uh, we want to talk about Codex. Uh, so let's take an example of uh, XM3. That's how XM3 looks like after five or six years of daily use. Uh, every day I'm turning them on for like I don't know, a few times, a uh, few calls, etc. And after a long time, as you can see some, yeah, uh, let's name it leather from pads is going off, but those are pretty soft and very comfort. And uh, yeah, what I like there, you hear clicks. And I know my ideal position is like five clicks. And uh, that's what I will be missing there, to be honest. <laughs> but okay, uh, yeah, just for a benchmark, that's how those look like. And uh, what's about those? Uh, those are the last Sony headphones that support aptX uh, codec. And uh, of course, to use it on Windows, <laughs> it's not that easy. Uh, you need to have a Bluetooth dongle. And in my case, I was using this Bluetooth dongle. It's uh, from Sennheiser, BTD600. And uh, this thing has a very nice uh, LED and showing which codec is being used. So on daily use, like listening music, uh, I was using aptX, which has good quality and those were great. Uh, however, when uh, switching uh, or connecting to Teams, uh, aptX is not for uh, calls, uh, it was switching to HFP. So, very old codec and uh, with uh, very low bitrate and uh, bandwidth and sampling rate, etc. etc. Yeah? Which uh, was mono and uh, it hurt like... Mm. Not that good, yeah? And uh, what's great about the setup? Uh, PC sees this device as audio device. Uh, that means in Teams, I've got set this device to uh, as a microphone and headphones. And uh, it's always uh, bind there. And this got bind to my headphones. That means if I'll take uh, uh, this dongle and headphones and connect to different PC, it will work like seamlessly. 
And that, that's the best thing. And to be honest, I don't need to struggle with selecting correct devices, etc., etc. It just works. One setup and it just works, which is very great. Yeah, there is a button for pairing, etc. And uh, okay, how it looks like in the XM6? Uh, well, we don't got a PTX. Uh, we've got LDAC which won't make sense for us because there are on the market uh, Bluetooth uh, transmitters which uh, can support uh, LDAC but uh, they are focused only on music listening so there is no uh, HFP uh, profiles uh, or A2 uh, DP so generally you won't uh, be able to use your microphone on those uh, Bluetooth uh, transmitters and uh, uh, so, what's remaining? The XM6 support pretty nice uh, codec, which is very new, and this codec is LC3. And uh, it has LE audio, low latency, high quality, some yeah, random modes, and we need a dongle for that. And uh, surprise, uh, there we've got uh, some deviation that there are dongles like uh, Creative uh, W6, which is uh, working only with Snapdragon uh, devices, uh, headphones, uh, because it's based on Snapdragon, so it will work only on, with Snapdragon. Unfortunately, Sony headphones are based on MediaTek processor, so we need to have a Bluetooth transmitter, which supports all devices, not only the Snapdragon. And uh, there is one, one, yes, really, there is one Bluetooth transmitter which uh, has great support and pretty active uh, company, but it's pretty unknown. And this is the Flugu FMA120, <laughs> whatever. Uh, yeah, this thing is designed in Australia. Yes, I bought it from Amazon.com. Uh, they sent it to me from the USA. I paid pretty a lot for that, for shipping, for taxes, etc. But my goal is to have a working good codec and uh, flawless integration with Microsoft Teams. And I want to answer this question, if is it possible with this only one dongle, which by the way supports uh, aptX, HD, adaptive, uh, etc etc but the most important for us is that it should support uh, le audio auracast whatever and we've got microsoft team capability so it should work it's ugly as oh my gosh <laughs> but first i will update firmware in headphones and update firmware in this module because that's the most important thing unfortunately these days <laughs> okay and this is sound sample using Sony Headphones XM3 with a BTD600 uh, Bluetooth uh, adapter. And that's how it hears like. I think uh, the quality might be slightly worse, but I think it's pretty good for its price, to be honest. Okay, so uh, this is sound sample using FMA120 and uh, Sony Headphones XM6. I have no idea how does it hear like, but I think the quality is gorgeous. Okay, now it's time for the summary after about two weeks of using uh, this uh, set of uh, the FMA120 and uh, Sony XM6 uh, headphones. In the meantime, uh, there was a software update, which now uh, shows us what uh, frequency and uh, latency do we got on uh, current uh, connection and uh, what I can say uh, it was very hard to set it up to let the headphones talk in LC3 mode and uh, the tip I can give you is uh, set it on your mobile phone 
So uh, you will see in your application that headphones are using the LC3 codec. Uh, so if you will connect to the FMA120, probably mostly uh, you will connect it in the LC3 codec. Yeah, that's uh, the case. And as you can see now, I'm on the 48 kilohertz. Uh, previously you saw there was a 32 uh, split uh, for microphone and for the uh, headphones, yeah? That's how it works. So, uh, basing on the numbers, we are getting better quality and I think you heard the difference because uh, from my side, wow, wow, uh, it's a huge difference, yeah? And, uh, okay. What else I can say uh, regarding uh, flawless connection? Uh, mostly yes, but I had uh, maybe three times or two times situation where uh, the headphones didn't switch uh, to uh, microphone uh, mode. Like I kept on the uh, this codec for only listening uh, music and uh, I couldn't uh, hear anyone and no one could hear me. So the case was to uh, power on and off uh, the headphones and uh, it went uh, back to normal. Mm, I think I did this uh, bug because I quickly swapped uh, meetings. So uh, I was in the meeting one, then I exited that, uh, headphones switched to the uh, high quality mode then uh, I opened another meeting pretty quickly and I think it was not enough time to let them go back to uh, call mode, whatever. But yeah, maybe that, that was the case. So I was just too fast switching and uh, that was the only issue. Other than that, it works flawlessly. And uh, one thing which popped out, uh, I didn't expect that to be honest. Uh, when uh, I've got connected headphones uh, to this uh, Bluetooth dongle and uh, I don't know, I'm not in the meeting or the music is playing and someone calls my phone, uh, the headphones are automatically connecting to my phone, like on the fly immediately. And if I answer the phone on my phone, uh, it got connected on my headphones. and. Wow, it's totally seamless uh, device switching. Uh, so, wow, I I'm impressed. And uh, yeah, it works fine. That's what I wanted to say. So, summarizing and answering my question. Yes, I've got a very nice set which is uh, compatible with Teams and uh, is very similar in the use case how it was with the BTD600. Yeah. Uh, audio quality, LC3 with uh, 48 kilohertz, uh, I would say generally the sound quality of the XM6 has improved to the XM3s and uh, there is a huge difference. And uh, this codec, which is pretty uh, uh, high compressive, I would name it like that, uh, is enough. I mean, my ears doesn't hurt when listening to music and uh, it's better quality than aptX on XM3s. So, win-win. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching. Please leave a comment and hit the subscribe button. Bye.